And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Ryan Metzler. Hey everyone, it's Ryan Metzler here again, and today we're going to take a look at an abstract game for two to six players. Uh, we're going to take a look at Stomple, uh, which is a game in which you're going to be moving around your colored marker, trying to get rid of marbles in order to be the last player able to move. That's really all I need to tell you about it before we go into the game, so real quick, why don't we take a look at how it plays and what you get inside this box, and then we'll come back here and we'll get my final opinion on Stomple. Here we are looking at Stomple, and as you can see here, we have a board with a layout of marbles on it. And all these marbles were put out randomly, so this is basically dumped out of a bag and onto the table. Uh, and underneath this board, if I can do it here carefully, you're going to see that there is an area here where you're going to push the marbles through. And all of these marbles are resting on a membrane, so I can push them through and they will land in this area here. Now let me put this back real quick. Each player at the beginning of the game is going to randomly draw a stomper out of this bag. And it's random because you don't get to choose your player color. The player color chooses you. So one player is going to be blue here and the other player, let's say, will be purple. And so we're going to have a two-player game. Now, on a player's turn, they can really only do one thing. I guess they kind of have two choices, but they're going to start somewhere. They can choose anywhere on this board to start. And they're going to stomp one of the marbles. So let's say, for example, the blue player here chose this green marble. Now, they have to keep going as long as they are next to another marble of the same type. So that was kind of a cat's eye green. There's another marble next to that that is also cat's eye green. So they have to stomp that as well. And now they have to stop. So basically, once you choose a marble, you stomp all connected marbles of that type, and then you stop. The next player also does the same thing. So maybe they choose uh, their purple. Maybe they choose these three blue marbles, which would be a really good choice for them. They're going to stomp this one, that one, and this one. Now... On your next turn, you have a choice. You can either stomp another adjacent marble, any one of them, and continue in that line. So, for example, you could do black and black here, or you could go white to white, or uh, maybe green to green. Or you can jump to any one of your own colored marbles. So, for example, they could jump if they don't like this area they're in here, or maybe they're starting to get you know, trapped because the other player has knocked out marbles around them. They can jump over to another marble of their color. So there's a light blue over here. They could jump to this one or over here. They could also jump to this one, but if they did, they'd have to stomp another one of their own marbles, which probably isn't a good idea. So they could jump maybe over here. And the next player could maybe move, and they're going to stomp black, black. And then this one does, you know, brown, brown, brown. And you're going to go on in this manner until one player cannot move. Either they can't move to a piece next to them, or they can't jump to one of their own colored marbles. So there's definitely an advantage to knocking out your other opponent's colored marbles to prevent them from jumping around the board uh, at their own, you know, will. So basically, whoever can't move first is going to be the loser, or in a more player game, the last player who is able to move is going to be the winner. So they've also included a tournament style type of thing in this game. I usually just play until, you know, one player wins and nobody else can move, but uh, they've also included a point system in the game. And basically, uh, you get three points for winning a round, you get three points for each of the cat size that are left on the board, and then you get one point for each solid color marble left on the board. So it's to your benefit to li eliminate your opponents as fast as possible. Now... Uh, you're also going to play several rounds in this aspect because you need to get a certain number of points, which is 40 points for two players, 20 for three, and less for more players. So basically you're trying to get to that number of points over a set number of rounds before your opponents. And there you have it. That is Stomple from Spin Master Games. As I said, two to six players. And at two players, I can tell you this game is very fun. I enjoy it quite a bit. At a few more players, it's still very fun, but I'm not so sure how it would play at six. But that's not really relevant here. I, I don't think it's a game that I'm going to be looking to play with six players. It plays very fast. There is definitely a level of strategy to it, picking the right direction to go with your stomper. Uh, and it's very satisfying to stomp those marbles down into the bottom of that, that tray. It makes a great noise. Uh, it's a lot of fun and something I really enjoy. So even though this is a very light abstract game, it's one that I enjoy quite a bit and one that I plan on keeping in my collection as kind of a filler type game when I have more than two players but fewer uh, than the six that it says it can play. Thanks for watching our review today. For more information about board games as well as the number one board game audio podcast, check out Dicetower.com for reviews, interviews, and more. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. <laughs>